Hello there. So anyway, back at Satisfactory, I've been having a good time here. I've been organizing my base a bit more, making things more efficient. And I did most of the work, but I left a little bit so I can show you what I've been doing and still keep this video a reasonable length. So uh, here we go. All right. I'm going to cue up my music. Yeah, nice tropical vibe. How about that? Okay, so anyway, what I've been doing is I've been kind of rearranging things. Now that we have the lifts, I'm using those instead of these long conveyor belt runs from the miners. It basically comes straight up from the miner and then you run a conveyor belt to the smelter and you're good to go. I've also put walls up just so I don't fall over and stuff. I did fall once now. I didn't die. It's, the game's pretty forgiving about that I guess. Um, it took damage but not bad. But as you see, I'm taking advantage of the fact that we now have the conveyor lift. And it allowed me to expand my platform out in more directions to give me more space. Move the equipment workshop and the hub forward a bit. And um, here's the iron access point. So I can run down here. I moved it. Uh, I'm not using the one iron miner yet. That I'm probably going to employ later. We'll see how things work but I have one minor vertical lift going up so I was able to expand the whole production line because I have more platform to work with and so this is what I set up I'm using the two biomass burners that are on my uh, hub to power all the iron production one biomass burners powering the miner and the smelter and the other one oh I I, I I moved the pole and I didn't place it again so it that was gonna power these guys over here I might as well do that let's put a pole down real quick uh-huh uh-huh I like to put them on corner locations just so things look a little bit more organized. So I, I took the fuel out of here so these things don't run until I'm ready to start it all up. But yeah, I uh, what did I put a hole here? That's bizarre. I don't want a hole. And so, connect to this constructor, and I'll show you the assembly line that I got going now. There's a third constructor part of this. I wouldn't be able to run all this off of one burner. Let's see, those two are hooked up. Yeah, this is the one that needs to be hooked up, yeah. Okay, so, what happens? Iron comes up, it gets melted here, and it comes out to a splitter, something we unlocked in the last milestone, so I decided to put them to good use. The splitter will take ingots this way and this way. The ingots going here get turned into rods, the ingots going here get turned into plates. Maybe I should move this over one so that I can walk past there. That might make a little more sense. Yeah, in fact, I'm gonna do that, and I'll do it now, it'll be real quick. Um, so this one where the plates come out of, go here into another splitter, because I'm thinking for the future. Um, the one outlet of the splitter will take plates straight to storage, so I get iron plates. Although I could make this look really work. Hold on. Here. Ah, 
I've been kind of getting a little bit more good looking with my designs. So here, rotate. There we go. Clicks down the conveyor pull automatically, and then we can run it straight here, making a better looking curve. There we go. How's that? So some of the... Oh. Oh. Well. No. Let it go. No. I'm going to fix it. Sorry. Let's see if we can do it this way. I mean, I could just hook it straight up there, but it doesn't look quite as good. I think what I'm going to do is plop you here, and connect up another one to here. Now, does that look better? Yeah, that looks better. There we go. So, and then this outlet here, I haven't hooked up yet because I need to get to the next stage to unlock the assembler. I'm going to try to put the assembler somewhere in here and then that way this will feed it and this will feed it. This is coming from the second constructor in the rods line that makes nails. So with this splitter here the rods that come out go into here. They'll go over here for storage so I get rods. And then they all, this one goes in here, the second constructor converts the rods to nails. And that'll get stored over there. And then basically in here is where I want to put the assembler so I can take the nails and the iron plates, make reinforced plates, and store them there. But that unlock is coming up. But for right now, I'm at least able to make everything else just fine. Um, so I put a biomass burner just for the concrete construction here powering a mine in a, in a constructor. Um, so yeah, it, I could really hook up something else to that or a couple more things so that I'm making better use of it. And then I put a biomass burner here for what I'm gonna do now. I am going to run this down to my uh, copper area. I wanna make the same sort of thing where some of the copper already getting constructed in the wires will get split off here so that some of the copper some of the wires will go into a second constructor to make cables and some of it will just go straight out for storage so that's basically what I did with the iron stuff is automating making all these different components so I'm gonna do that again but what I'm gonna do now is set up the whole uh, lift conveyor here. Now because of this location, I could probably make this better. Now that I'm doing the lift, I don't need to do this. I'm probably getting some copper ore while I'm doing that. Um, But what I can do now is extend the platform out more. Um, so let's do that. Because now with that verticality, it's good. I mean, if I start over in the game again to play like on another planet, probably I'll take the approach where I'm getting to know which milestones give you what. And uh, I'll probably do less of the construction. Here, I made some extras. F. 
I'll do less of the uh, assembly line construction until I lock, unlock all the things that make it convenient. So let's try and eyeball this a bit here. Um, we're going to take the conveyor belt, which is this category. Here we go. Keep it green. And then let's see here. We don't have to worry about making it rise right now. So maybe bring it to this point right here. Curve this like this. Let me stand in a way that I might bring things up here on this side now. I curved that at the end a little much, a little too much. Let's see here. You can stand on these things. Let's try it. So then what I do is initiate the lift. Now, my next left click will lock it into place. I'm going to see if I can literally just walk up here. It's giving me yellow, which means it'll do it, but... Oh, can I jump over this? Good. I mean, it'll let me do it. So, there we go. Now let's do the conveyor belt. Yeah, I, I really don't think that this... Um, area is going to make me things look... Make, let me make things look all that great. You know, I really could go further out. Maybe I'll do that. Yeah, I'll just do it like that. button on the mouse helps you rotate things. Okay. All right. Well, let me get rid of some of these walls here. But I am going to put some back in. can do is take you out and take out the constructor and the conveyor belt. All this stuff gets stored in the inventory. I'm going to do this last because there's a bunch of wire in there. 
Okay. Now, let's see if we can get a smelter in here. Orange end facing the conveyor belt. do is probably redo this and all that ore sitting there the mine I mean it's got to be powered on to drill but it will um, convey things up that it's already mined so that's why you see it showing stuff there Okay, and plop you right in. So, it's probably not going to look too fancy down there. <laughs> but, that's good. And I got plenty of space here. Now what I want to do is, that's going to make ingots. And then I do want to make wires. So put a constructor here. Hard. Sometimes it's hard to get an angle on it to see things. Now, is it giving me... I'm trying to see, is that one green line saying I'm lined up? Here, this is how I'm going to do it. I'm going to go walking here. Stand in front of the output port. Okay, so there, I see that big, bold green line. That means it's lined up. So the conveyor belt won't look all wonky going into it. Alright, there we go. So then that'll make wires. Let's set it first. And I should set this. After you put it down, set it. Don't forget it. Alright. So, makes the ingots, makes the wires. And then we want to put a splitter here. The orange end is the input end, so I'm going to stand right about here and there. I can see the big old green thing saying we're in line. And connect this up. There we go. And then I can take that storage container, move it back here. That's where the wires will come out. Or keep it where it is and... Yeah. Because basically what I need now is a constructor to make the uh, wires and the cable. Stand in front of this. There we go. Ah. There we go. So now, out of here will be coming cables, and out of that side will be wires. So I literally can leave that thing right where it's at. I wanted to save space, I can move it forward a bit, but I don't know. We'll, I'll leave it the way it is. Okay, let's go here like this. up like this. 
All right, so our wires will be put in there. Now I'm just gonna make another storage unit. to contain our cables. The orange end is facing the right way, good. So let's stand here. Okay, it's lined up on the grid. And we can take uh, our conveyor belt. Run it in, there we go. Cool beans. Now I need to hook up the power for all these things. There's a power pole there. I've got two constructors, a smelter, I'm going to have to do two power poles, I think. And then we'll see if everything, if I blow a fuse. I don't think so. All this copper stuff is going to be on one burner. Yeah. Now I need to run this to the miner. Oh man, I hate going over the edge like this. There we go. Into the smelter. But that's three things. It only has four connections on a pole. So I'm gonna have to put another pole here. Should I put it over here? Yeah, how about that? That would look cool. So I hook this up to the pole over there. If I can see it. And hook it up to the two constructors. So, that, the copper biomass burner is going to be supporting a miner, a smelter, and two constructors. I've run, before I rearranged the iron area, I was running that much off of one burner. So, let's test it out. Make sure everything's hooked up alright. Should have biomass on me. All right, let's hook up the concrete maker. This one will definitely be fine. Now the iron area is gonna need more biomass, I think. But let's see if our copper's good. Let's see if our copper is going. Oh, wait a minute, I didn't set the second constructor. I didn't tell it to make cables. Alright, wires are going into there. Nothing's coming out of here because, yeah, I didn't tell you. Cables are coming out. Wires and cables are going into storage. Yeehaw. Awesome beans. Now, we're going to test the other stuff, the iron construction area. Of course, I can't make the reinforced plates just yet because it needs the uh, assembler. But before I go down and grab us some more stuff, 
I am going to move this. I think some of these I put double walls in accidentally. way to do it. Put the ramps in first. Right here, like this. And then I'll take out the other ones. Hit the F key and F. And then I've been putting walls around just so I don't fall down. Do that again. But I'm feeling like I got my layout. Oh. Got my layout much better now. get some leaves. I haven't done a run like this for a while so uh, there should be plenty around. over here. And we get to collect some more healing fruit. That I just keep in my inventory because you never know when you need it. I ran into some sort of like a insecty thing that flew at me was damaging me when I was playing off screen and I was able to kill one of them the other time I just ran away and, and, it, and it did allow me to go away so but in the next um, milestone we unlock the map so I guess that means we'll be doing some exploring Oh, I got an extra. Yeah. But I'd kind of like to see if I can advance in weaponry before I do too much exploring. I mean, this local area isn't bad. I think it's over there where I ran into some of those insecty things. Just stuff that kind of flies at you. both of those biomass burners. 
Yeah, I remember I found some up here. There it is. That's what I was talking about. Maybe I'll go this way. <laughs> if I can avoid a nuisance, I'd like to. Sometimes you can't get a good shot on them and it's like you just gotta run away. Although they do you do actually get out of their range and they leave you alone after that. You don't need to fall there. I think we got some options here. Nope. Nope. Hmm. I just want to make sure I have enough so we could test everything out. Yeah, if you've been enjoying the series or this episode at all, please don't forget to hit the like button. Subscribe. Help me thrive. I'm going to uh, be doing some other games in the future as well. I'm really digging Satisfactory, so I think I'll keep doing it. Oh, uh, I'm getting flowers now. They don't give me a lot. I'm on the biomass now. Flowers are good to use um, before you get the biomass. Uh, I'm getting more flowers. But yeah, definitely biomass is worth doing. We'll have more stuff coming up soon. There's the biofuel sorts of other resources later on. Wait a minute. Does this give me stuff? Whoa. Do not want to fall. Man. Let's get back. I think we're good to be able to make enough biomass now to, to run both of the iron burners. So over there is my limestone ramp. That's the iron. No, this is the iron ramp. That's the limestone and there's the copper over there. been able to expand the thing out now with these vertical lifts. Okay. So let's make up the biomass and make sure all our iron works are going. But yeah, I definitely feel like I'm organized now. We're a lot more organized than I was. Let's see, um, biomass leaves. That's it. No wood, huh. Well, let's see what we got. Should be enough for testing at least. Oh, that one's running? Yeah, power's on. There's wood and flowers here that I got from my trip. Oh yeah, this is from before when I blew the fuse. I realized I had to use both of these power this section. So this one is powering 
liner and the smelter. So there's our ingots coming out. And this splitter should send them out both ways. Yep, sending it there and there. So our ingots are going into that to make rods and into this one to make plates. So here's our plates coming out. There we go. And over here, here's our rods coming out. And half the rods go down that way straight to storage. And the other ones go into this constructor to make nails. Here's our nails coming out. And they're just going straight into storage. But I have the splitter set up here already. And the splitter set up here already so that the nails and the plates can be combined to make reinforced plates. Yeah, it looks like there's fewer of these coming out than some of the other things, but yeah, I'm getting plenty of materials. So what I should probably do, yeah, my inventory is looking full, so I'm going to put a bunch of things into storage that I don't need a lot of on me, but sort, um, cleaning up. I've got wood and flowers here that I'm going to put in the box in the hub. Concrete, I got three concretes, that's fine. Cable, wire, and then copper ingots. Now this is because I was taking things apart over there, so I got some ingots and probably some ore on me. I'll just run to the workbench and put that to good use. Just do it there. Iron plates. This is what's getting stored here, right? Yeah, so let's just... Three slots of iron plates. Actually, the rods. Well, I'm going to be sending up another launcher to unlock the next level, so... Getting plenty of nails. Look like a bunch of them are coming out. All right, so hey, it's working. Let's go over here, make sure the copper's still going. Yeah, I can see that the burner's still burning. Oh, I don't have any more biomass, so I'm just gonna throw these wood, the wood and the flowers in the uh, storage. Okay, so. Well, the thing left is that I'm going to unlock the next um, milestone, which will complete tier one, and we'll see what things we're going to get. Then what I'll do is off screen, I'll play it a little bit and come back and report on it. I always like to do this though when I've got some extra ingots and stuff on me. Like, look at that ore. It takes a few minutes, but. It's quicker just doing this. When the assembly lines are going, you, can, you know, the smelters already got enough ore in it processing that you can hardly throw any in. And since it's not really a container, it doesn't take a lot before it fills up. So this is actually the most convenient way of dealing with it. But the copper ingots don't do me much good, so I might as well just turn them into wire. And then turn some of that wire into cables. But this is what I do at the end of my sessions, is usually just go here and clean up any of the less useful things. Like, there's no use in carrying ore around with you. I don't think I did it. I didn't do any disassembly of my iron processing area, so I shouldn't have any iron ore or ingots on me. Although, I'll check real quick. Yep, 
Yuppie, 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 yuppie. Sorry about this. There we go, done. Um, I could probably do the rest of that off screen maybe. Yeah, I'll do the rest of that. I'm not gonna put you through this. Um, but let's see if we have what we need for the next milestone here. When we unlock this milestone, we're gonna get map, the molecular analysis machine. That'll be interesting to try. Now this says object scanner, like you can scan for specific types of objects, but it's not, yeah, I'm going to have to play with that a little bit because you got to do some things, some analysis first, I think, before you can do that. Uh, personal storage. Yay. What's that? Uh, a beacon. Now it says this is going to be um, pending removal. So this looks like something that's not going to last too much in the game. So we'll see. Okay, one hand equipment slot. I haven't even been using that. <laughs> I haven't been using the equipment. I've just been using the menu I've gotten quick at that, but I don't bother. And then more inventory slots, always a good thing. Wait a minute. Let's see if we got the stuff to do it. We need 300. Yeah, I have enough wire. We need 300 nails. I got enough. And we need 100 iron plates. Got them all. So, let's just throw these guys in. Okay. Milestone reached. The molecular analysis machine, referred to as the MAM, will allow R&D to provide new technologies, items, and buildings based on samples collected in the field. To ensure a greater chance of success during exploration, an upgraded tool belt has been provided, as well as an object scanner and beacons. Note, the object scanner requires calibration via the MAM to enable detection of specific objects. Okay, so yeah, you use the MAM to calibrate the object The map scan. has been unlocked. But yeah, I see the hot bar down there. Maybe I should start getting used to it. But... I usually just like to keep my Xeno Zapper in hand and all that. I've been functioning fine, I think, without it, but we'll see. Um, now, I'm going to throw my excess wood and flowers in here. Actually, it's all excess. <laughs> now, what is this? This is concrete. Yeah. All useful stuff on me, except for those copper ingots. So on my own time, at the end of this recording, I'm going to put that together. Now let me see this MAM. Is it made here? Object scanner. Now let's see. Did it? So we got to make it basically. I'll explore these items next time, but. You know, I might as well make them. Looks like I got okay. We got an object scanner. I even have one of these things on me. Portable miner. Oh, I just made it because I had the wrong thing selected. Object scanner. Oh my god. Well, I'll put it in my storage. Whatever. 
And Beacon gonna be left taken out of the game, but hey, what the hell? I'll make one. Anyway, and we can play with them next time. Here comes the launcher back. So I've completed tier one. Next will be tier two. And I can look at the stuff that we're gonna. Here, I'll put these in here for now, like even the object scanner. Which needs to be calibrated with the MAM. So I guess I need to make a MAM. Yeah, now we're on two. Let's see what's coming up down the pipe. Oh, we're gonna have uh, the assembler. So yeah, I gotta unlock this next level and then I can make the assembler. Yeah, look, I mean, I've got all the kinds of stuff that I need to unlock that, um, at least in production. Well, let's see if we can make this man. Okay, it's not under buildings. Yeah, definitely not under that. Here it is. Molecular. No, wait a minute. Oh, personal storage. Bit box. So I can make a personal storage box now. You know, these are just construction items. Um. Yeah. I don't see the man. Unless it's under this top one here. Oh, uh, yep, yeah, that's where it is. Here's the ma'am. Do I have the stuff to make it? It doesn't look like it. I need more wire. All right, we can get that real quick. So yeah, I'm gonna be ending shortly here. But right now, might as well get this ma'am together. And so next time we can explore that. And then the assembler I'm looking forward to. Let's make sure we have enough. We've only gotten this many cables so far. But it's working on them. Alright, it's working on them. So at least I'm getting my, all the mats that I'm using for construction. The only thing missing is the reinforced plates, but I'll be able to do that soon with the, uh, what do you call it, the, uh, ass the assembly. So what I'm going to do here is let's plop our ma'am here. Should be able to make it now. Is this the way you want it to face or? Yeah, I think like that. Okay, let's see this real quick here. Alien. Uh-huh. And nutrients. So you can select objects that you want to search for there. And I guess I, I put the uh, scanner away, but probably what I do is if I have the scanner in my inventory, let's just check it. Yeah, the object scanner now I have an object scanner in my inventory I'm gonna have to explore this for next time and check it out off screen 
but yeah that's what we're going to do next time next time we're going to look at the ma'am and see how that works now did it use my object scanner no it's in my hand there okay but you calibrate it so i'll be checking that out next time um, well, we'll do it next time, but let me see if I can just unlock this so I can also off-screen play with the assembler. Uh, do I have all the stuff I need? No, now I need more nails. How many do I need? 300? Well, it looked like a lot of them were getting pressed over there, so I should be able to unlock that. Getting lost again, even though I'm more organized now. Looks like the biomass ran out. Do I have 300 at least? 280. Yeah, that should bring me to the 300 I need to do the next thing. But yeah, off screen what I'm going to do is fire this up so I get more production going because apparently ran out of biomass. I need more. I need more. Well, I could just, I have some flowers there. I could just throw them in and use them up, get them out of the way. You know, get them out of your, my hair. Where is it? What's this? 13 wood, hog parts. I haven't found a use for that yet. Uh, but I'm sure it's coming. <laughs> Maybe that ma'am will tell me. Okay, let's get things running again a little bit. Waste not, want not. Use the flower power. Alrighty, so let's... Looks like we can do this. So that way I'll have stuff to play with next time and we'll be able to see what we do. How many more nails? Oh, 500 nails. Oh, and I have 478. Well, I got rods on me. So let's bang those rods into nails. It's like 22 will do it. Alright, I got enough now. Okay, there we go. There we go. Oh no, not enough cable. How much more cable do I need? 197, just three more. Well, hopefully three have just come off the assembly line. <sighs> on this side the copper stuff yeah this has been running so I should have cable this one's cable this one's wire let's see what we got here just enough Sorry about this, but we're just about there, but you know, things have been going well. I might as well drop some of my concrete here. I have like too much concrete on me. No, my inventory isn't full. That concrete's always good there because it's a common component of things. Sure. Milestone reached. More complex assembly of parts can now be automated. 
Project assembly parts can now be constructed and sent up via the space elevator. Note, project parts are too complex to produce by hand. Project parts. So it looks like a whole new slew of parts. Alright, so anyway, we're going to explore all the stuff we... I'm going to explore it off screen and tell you all about it next time. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for joining me. It's been fun. Let's see if we can get a good... <coughs> I'm sorry, I was going to hit the mute button, but forgot which button to hit right as soon as that happened. Can I find a cool spot to just get a good spin shot? I don't know, man. That would look too much like the last time screenshot. How about this? Because this kind of like makes the point. Um. I wonder if I could jump on the top of one of these things. Let's see if I can get up there. Yay! Let's take a picture of this. I'm gonna take this thing out of my hand. There we go. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to get them all in the same thing, so let's do, do this. <laughs> I'm actually moving on the conveyor belt. That's cool. Here, I'll just take a picture of the nails. Hold on. Get them in the middle. There we go. That'll be good. Alright folks, thank you for joining me. Take care, peace out, and stay free.